Hello and welcome to part 4 on my complete beginner's guide to using your Nexus 7 Android tablet. If you haven't watched the previous video in this series, please watch that video first as each part of a guide follows directly on from the previous video. To recap the previous video, we went through how to unlock your tablet when you want to use it, as well as adding security settings to your lock screen. We also had a brief look at using an application, which was Google Maps, and I introduced some of the basic gesture controls, such as double tapping to centre the screen and pinch to zoom in and out. And finally, we looked at the home screen button, which always takes you back to the main start screen of your tablet. Now on to today's guide. In this video, I will show you how to create a Google account, which is necessary to connect you to Google services and enables you to download applications onto the tablet. Once you've set up a Google account, you can take advantage of Gmail, which is an email service provided by Google. We will then explore the Google Play Marketplace, which is where you can go to download new applications onto the tablet. And during our tour of that marketplace, we will download an application and have a look at how to use it once it's downloaded. There are also a few extra tips in this video, so keep your eyes and ears open for them. If you have been watching this series since the beginning, you will know that I asked you to bypass the creation of a Google account when you first switched the tablet on. This was so that we could use the tablet straight away. What you may have also noticed is that the home screens look a little sparse and have this message on them. This is because we have not connected a Google account to the tablet yet and we can't take advantage of all the Google services. So let's address this now by creating a Google account. Pressing on the message will take you to the Add Google Account screen. Now, if you already have a Google Gmail account for email, you can use it for your Nexus 7. If you don't already have an account, you can create one here, and it's completely free of charge. If you press on the New button, you'll be taken to the next screen where you need to give your first name and surname. This is another opportunity to have a play with your on-screen keyboard. So give it a go and get comfortable with typing on the screen. Once you've done that, press the right arrow button to advance. The next screen will ask you for a username. This name will be used for your new Gmail email account. Now, the chances are your preferred name will already have been used, and if it has been used, alternative suggestions will be provided by the system. It is completely up to you whether you adopt this email account, but the chances are you already have another email, such as Hotmail or Yahoo. In a later video, I will show you how you can use them on the tablet too. But bear in mind that this new Gmail account will be used for things you do on the tablet regarding Google services. Once you've found a username you're comfortable with, the next thing to do is set up security settings such as a password and recovery information such as a secret question in case you forget your password. Now, for those of you who already have a Gmail account, all you need to do at the beginning of this account process is press on the existing button and then type in your current Gmail account. In either case, the Gmail account will now be connected to your Nexus 7 tablet. Next, you will be asked whether you want to be contacted by Google about services that they provide. My advice is to uncheck this box, but it's up to you. You will also be asked whether you want to create a Google Plus account, which is a social network service similar to Facebook. In addition to this, you will also be asked whether you want to sign up to Google Wallet to purchase entertainment products from Google Play. In this example, I'm going to bypass these two services just to keep things simple. Now the process of creating a Google account is complete, the Nexus 7 should come alive with some new pictures. What you're seeing right now is your library of Google content. This can be books, films and music. To kick things off, Google will give you a couple of free things. Depending where you are and when you create the account, you might get different stuff. Anyway, I've pressed on this book called Treasure Island and it's automatically loaded up the book reading application called Google Books. You can read this book by swiping pages from right to left as if you're turning a page. A general tip at this point, when using certain applications, you may notice that the buttons at the bottom of the screen disappear. They are replaced by three faint dots. This is so that the buttons don't distract you when you're reading a book or watching a film. To make the buttons reappear, simply tap on the screen. 
Now the buttons have reappeared, but you could tap on the screen again to make them disappear. Whether you can see these buttons or not, you can always press them. You will also notice on some applications that when you tap the screen in this fashion, application specific options may appear at the top of the screen. Not all applications work in this manner and the options will be different for different applications, so just bear that in mind. As I have explained previously, Gmail is another web-based email service like Hotmail and Yahoo. And because the Gmail account is used to connect your Nexus 7 tablet to Google services, this will be the email account you receive emails about those services. You're likely to find two or three emails already in the account just from creating it through the Nexus 7. If this is all a little too overwhelming and complicated, don't worry. You don't have to use this Gmail account if you don't want to, and it will happily sit there and never bother you if you never decide to use it. But now that you have a Google account, you are free to download new applications from the Google Play Marketplace. Google Play is basically an online shop where you can download games and applications for your Nexus 7. There are literally hundreds of thousands of applications available, and a large number of them are completely free. You can also purchase books, music and rent films too, but we'll save that content for another video. Today we're going to visit the applications part of the store, so all you need to do is go to the bottom right of your home screen dock and press on the shopping bag icon. The main screen of the Google Play Marketplace will present everything Google has to offer and at the top there are options for the different areas of the marketplace. If we scroll down the screen, we can see highlights for the different areas of Google Play, such as new releases, recommendations based on your previous choices, movie highlights and more. Scroll back to the top of the screen and press on the apps to take you to that area. Again, you will be presented with a main screen, but this screen focuses purely on applications. Along the top of the screen, there are sorting options, such as the best applications you have to pay for, the best free applications, currently trending applications, and so on. If I press on one of these options, I will jump to that selection of applications. So in this area, we can see popular free applications such as Facebook, Skype, and the very popular game Candy Crush. If I swipe right or left, I can change my sort order. So now I'm looking at top paid applications, then back to my main screen. And then if I swipe to the left again, we now have the different categories of applications. There are many, many categories to choose from, such as games, business, communication, entertainment, health and fitness, lifestyle, and so on. Simply go down the list and choose one of the options. In this example, we're going to choose the news category. Now we have filtered down to the top paid news applications and again I can choose the options on the top and this time I'm going to choose the best free applications for news by swiping to the right. The application I want to download here is the BBC news application which is a top choice. So let's choose that and investigate the application page itself. The application page gives you all the information about the application you're looking at and you can press on the screenshots to make them full screen use the back button here to go back to the application page and then if you scroll down the application page you can find out more information such as a full description of the application what other people think of the application which is always a good indicator of a good application now let's download this application downloading free applications from the Google Play marketplace such as the BBC news application is very easy because you don't have to provide any payment options so simply press on the install button for each application you download you must accept the application user permissions that will be used on the tablet so all you need to do is press accept on each of these options now at the top of the screen you'll start to see a blue bar running across the application page indicating that the application is being downloaded. You'll also get a notification at the top of the screen and when it's completed there will be a very small notification in the top left hand corner. And this is where we can have a quick look at notifications. Notifications on the Nexus 7 will always appear in the top left hand corner and to view them simply swipe down from the very top left of the screen to show the notification. So here we have a notification telling us that the BBC News application has been downloaded. 
if we return to the home screen you will see that it is automatically added to your home screen with a new icon now you have downloaded your first application from the Google Play Marketplace so let's press on it and take a look at the BBC News application as you can see it has its own unique style there are many news stories here from the BBC website and if I press on one it will open up the news application there are some similarities here to other applications for example in the top right hand corner of the tablet we have the three dots which indicates the options for the application so if I press on this I can increase the text font and you will find that this three dots in the top right hand corner of the application is very common in many other applications so today's video was 10 minutes long and there are five key points with a few extra tips chucked in as well thanks for watching this video check out part five to carry on where this video has finished and if you think you know someone who might find this useful share it with them see you again soon in the next beginner's guide to your nexus 7 thanks for watching this video if you enjoyed it please click that thumbs up button I really appreciate it and if you're hungry for more videos subscribe it's free after all